Yes, I mean, asking, of course, their qualification, asking their level of training. In the world of coaching, there are four ranks, a bit like the military. You have what you call practitioner coach, senior coach, master coach, or fellow, fellow of the institute. So practitioner, senior, master, fellow. And the way you move up is you do more training, you gain more knowledge, and you, you do more coaching hours. To be a practitioner coach, you have to have logged um, 60 genuine hours with real live clients, six zero. To be a senior coach, it's 750 hours. To be a master coach, and I was saying to my group yesterday, I'm so annoyed at this, it's 2,000 hours. But when I became a master, it was 4,000 hours, and they dropped, the, they dropped the, 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 the standards about eight years ago. Very annoying, that, isn't it? So, so um, uh, a master coach has to have done over 2,000 hours of real documented coaching with real people. So you would ask the man or woman, um, are you a properly qualified practitioner coach or senior or master? And any good practitioner coach would be perfect. Practitioner coaches are magnificent. They've done a huge amount of training, um, studying, writing, researching, practicing. Um, great people, great people. The problem with coaches is they're very gentle people. They're lovely people. Uh, they're not always great at going out and grabbing the business, if, if you understand what I, I mean, you know. They don't all have the, the eye of the tiger to go out and grab the clients. So, so that's where a good coach training company would come in. They would provide that extra help, training, support, guidance on, on, on ongoing.